Hey guys, welcome to this little Civilization 6 video after the Gamescom where I went last week and played Civilization 6 for 30 minutes. But there is no gameplay in this video. There are no new things you can discover here. I'm just talking about my impressions and how I think Civilization 6 will be and if people will like it and stuff like that. So if you want new stuff or gameplay, go to YouTube channels where they tested this and could record it or go to civilization.com where you can find news about civilization and all the pictures you can see in this video. So in general I really enjoyed my 30 minutes of Civilization 6 gameplay. Uh, I like this game, I like Civilization 5 a lot and I think Civilization 6 is a big improvement and there are a lot of new mechanics which are interesting and sometimes harder to play but I think overall they improve the Civilization 6 or the Civilization experience so um, I really like the art style so in Civilization 6 it changed to the like a comic comic style and the leader you can see are uh, looking it's 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 com like a comic or stuff like that but uh, some people say this looks weird and it doesn't fit to civilization, but I think it's great, and I think it's it's nice to look at, and I don't really mind the the comic style. As you can see here on this picture, you have like an overview and the map, and what I really like is the map of Civilization Six because you can see in, in the left and the top. Fog of War, so you ex explore the land there, but you can't see what happens uh, currently. So it's like a hand-drawn map, which you can observe, which is really cool. I like this. Um, it it changes, so there's a bigger difference between the visual stuff, so what you can actually see, and which is hidden in the Fog of War. And the strategic overview got changed too, so in Civilization C uh, 5 it was bad, not pleasant to look at and nobody want to really use it, uh, me neither, but in Civilization 6 it changed a lot, it looks better, um, you can see the information more easily, I didn't play in the strategic view obviously because I wanted to play the normal, but I think it's a great improvement and you can uh, use it much better than the Civilization C uh, 5 strategic map. The biggest difference from 5 to 6 is are the districts, uh, so called the unstacking of cities. If you want to read more about all this stuff, go to civilization.com. You can read the articles, articles and watch the videos about that. But in over, uh, overall, the districts mean you have to build special. Uh, specialty districts outside of your city so they will occupy a tile and there you can build buildings for example you can build an encampment which you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen with these red houses uh, there you can build after you build the districts you can build barracks there and other buildings related to uh, recruiting troops and defending and and then the encampment enables to sh fire and defend the city so it has an own attack like the cities in Civilization 5 and the city in 5 uh, and 6 doesn't have an own attack unless you build walls and stuff like that so they you can for example if you build a city and then you you need to build a campus to generate any signs in the city so you need to build it adjacent to a mountain because there you get one uh, one flat science in the city just for every adjacent mountain which is kinda nice and then you can build buildings like libraries in there and before you build the campus you can do that so what I think helps the AI play so the single player a lot is that I think the AI will not found any cities on these little islands in the sea where you can only where you only have space to found the actual city and no place to to build any improvements and stuff like that these cities won't work in civilization 6 as far as i know and as far the gameplay works until now because you can't build districts so the city won't generate much gold won't generate any signs because no science district no signs 
and this is good, I think. And it makes you have to plan your city a lot better than before. So you have to think, where do I want to put these districts? Because the districts get adjacency bonus from each other, and wonders give adjacency bonus bonuses and stuff like that. So you have to uh, plan your city much more carefully than before, and it's a nice strategic element that you have to plan this. So have it, um, earlier you just build farms on the food tiles, you just build mines on the hills or farms on the hills next to the river, build the mines on the strategic resources and then you're done. And now you have to you think about it. Do you want to build a campus there? Do you want to build an encampment? Do you want to build a, um, like a commercial district there? Or a, um, um, like an what's it called, the the districts where you can build then theaters and amphitheaters and stuff like that. So there's a, a lot of more uh, depth in the gameplay, which I really like and I enjoyed. I didn't have much time to build districts, like one or two only, but it's nice. And the next big change from Civilization 5 to 6 are the active progression or the boosts to research of uh, tax and policies, social policies. So for example, if you found a city next to the sea, as you can see on the screen here, the Eureka, um, you get a boost to sailing because your city is next to the sea, so they will build, need to build boats and stuff like that. And so you will get a bonus if you build a mine on an iron resource, you will get a bonus to iron working because you have access to iron. And if you build a farm on a resource, for example the wheat, you get a bonus to building plantations. So you can research the plantations earlier. Which is nice. So you have to, in addition to the districts, you have to plan out what you want to do. So if you want to go to war, you have to prepare for that and get the boost to the text. So you can research these texts earlier. Because at some point in the game you will either um, research this text so fast that it doesn't matter at all, or uh, you had so much time to do stuff, so you will get the bonus anyway at some point. So at some point in time, you will meet another civilization, and then you will get a bonus to um, writing. But if you want to research that at first and build a campus, you need to go explore and meet another civilization. So you have to plan what you want to do, and I enjoyed that. It's cool. It's a new element, and it gives more depth again, as same as the districts. So these all goes in hand. Uh, and it's cool. I like it. And then there's another change, a minor change to builders or workers. They are now called builders, so they um, have charges, and you can build an improvement instantly. And then you will, and after three improvements, they will vanish, and you have to build a new one. Uh, the China can have four, like four charges, but uh, in general, you, the in, uh, thing is that you build improvements instantly. And you can't build districts with the builders, you have to do that from your city. But uh, this uh, needs, so you need to plan out where you want to put your improvements, because if you want to change them, it will cost another charge, and you have to build new uh, builders. And there is also uh, more strategic, like more planning involved. So in general, Civilization 6 is much more about planning than Civilization 5. Civilization 5, you have like your st uh, strategy and you can do that and you can always do church pottery and you can always uh, build this and that for example monument first or not if you want to go tradition you don't need to build a monument and stuff like that now this will change from game to game because you have other starting locations you have another focus so you will need to do other stuff and you have to see how this works out and if there's um, if there will emerge like the general strategy again which uh, the developers w don't want, so they want to prevent the general strategies and want, en want to encourage all the players to always like always think about what they do and don't like do the uh, to go to do, to go strategy. So uh, I, I'm um, I want to see how this how this works out and how I will behave after like three or four games when I know the general style and if I will do always the same stuff or will I change this way will I change it and another big stuff which affects combat is the movement so if you want to enter forest you have to spend two movement points and you only have one movement point left you can't enter the forest 
this is a change to 5 because there you could enter any tile which if you have one movement point left that's not the case anymore so you have to plan the combat too because if you want to attack on a forest you need to stand next to the forest because you, before you can attack so movement on units is a lot stronger because it's more difficult to move uh, also the the combat get affects by uh, is affected by support units, so they introduce support units like battering rams and siege towers. And if a city is defended, for example with walls, you have to build battering rams or siege towers to attack the city. Otherwise, your uh, guys can't do stuff, which is logic because how do you want to attack a city with no walls? Uh, with walls, if you don't have any mean to to climb or get around the walls. So there are only their military support units and the military actual fighting units. Uh, what I um, another big change or announced big change is the diplomacy, but I can't really tell about anything about that because uh, thirty minutes are not enough to experience that. So I met city states, and I sent an envoy to the city states. That's the new principle to send envoys to get their allegiance and stuff like that so the most the civilization with the most envoys will be allied with them if they have at least three and each envoy will give a bonus like two faith in the capital as you can see here or the next uh, the third envoy then gives another two faith and stuff like that so um that's kind of interesting i don't know how this plays out and how it feels if you play it because you have to you have to fight um or you have to, to ex you have to do more stuff with it and experience a longer game. So it's kind of sad that I can't really I couldn't test this. Also, the general diplomacy with other civilizations is kind of hard to to judge because um, you have to to trade with them and do stuff. And I don't know if you can trade maps and text and stuff like that again, like in Civilization Four. Um, but in general, each civilization has an agenda and a hidden one, and you have to uh, to find that out if you want to know why they hate you or why they uh, want to be friends with you and so and so on. Mm. Uh, so, in conclusion, to wrap this all up, I think Civilization Six has great potential, and there are a lot of gameplay elements I really like already. I think are very good and good changes, but there are still some some things where I want to keep an eye on and how I see that evolves involves because the diplomacy in Civilization Five is kind of boring and the city states you just buy them, which won't work anymore in Civilization Six. But I want to see how it how it plays out, how it feels if you play this play this game. So I'll make sure to keep an eye on that. And yeah, so I think uh, Civilization Six is worth playing. I will play it. I already pre-ordered it, um, but if you don't, if you're not sure about that, you always just wait a few days after the release, watch some videos, and then decide if it's worth buying. Because you, you, there's no rush if you don't know, if you don't know how this game will be. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little impression or my impression of the game, and.